My wife and I have been really trying hard to get my son to stop eating with his hands and start using utensils like a civilized person, but at this restaurant, utensils are absolutely not necessary because we are talking now with Oscar, Chef Oscar, from Migrants. It's good to see you, Oscar. Good to see you again. Absolutely. So we've got some cookies. Those are the closest thing to me right now, which is what my eyes are on. <laughs> but we also have some other things as well. Talk to us about what we're going to be making today. All right. So we'll talk about the cookies real quick because okay. that's always like you want to save a little room for our cookies. Sure. Uh, they're handmade cookies that we uh, developed there. The recipes are all 100% vegan. Oh, all right. Nobody knows, but now they do. <laughs> so we've got a pecan, a chocolate chip, and then a walnut uh, brownie cookie. Ooh. Very moist. Very moist. Mm. Mm. Okay. All, All right. right. And I then made we're my gonna choice. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to talk about nachos. Okay. So uh, when we do the nachos, we actually put the, the sauce on the side so you can do that at home. Okay. Um, you get to pick a type of bean or no beans. I sometimes don't want the beans. But then you get to pick your meat. This one's a spicy pork. Uh, one of my favorites. So we're going to put the, the right on top there okay there's seven different meats you can pick from yeah uh, my favorite just happens to be the pork yeah i like then putting my sauce on top of that next so then we just kind of put the sauce all around make sure you get it all over the chips apply liberally yes then toppings whatever toppings you want some people like lettuce take a little bit of everything a little uh jalapeno and black olives on there, there. you go some color so i'll add a little tomato on there Fresh onions, mm -hmm. a little cilantro, and don't forget some queso fresco just for. Oh, I love the queso fresco. The kicks, kicks and giggles there. <laughs> kicks and giggles. All right. Oh, say Look at word. that. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful mountain of nachos right there. Everything is homemade. Even the chips, right down to the Correct. chips, is, is homemade. So that's fantastic. I'm going to try that in just a minute here. I want to make sure that we get a chance to talk about breakfast and brunch, because that's something that you want to share with our viewers here yes. today. So we are open from 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, to 11 a.m. every day uh, for breakfast. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday, we go till 2 p.m. for brunch, because I know everybody likes to sleep in. Right. So I know there's some people out there that sleep in. Um, guilty. <laughs> when my kids don't wake me up. <laughs> Well, that's good. So there, it's open until 2 p.m. So you can still have brunch all the way to all to 2 the way through. Yep, I've got uh, everything from breakfast burritos, uh, huevos rancheros, and then we've also got some nice Cuban sandwiches, tortas. So you got a lot to pick from. You're gonna bring the Cuban next time, right? I'll bring the Cuban. Please bring the Cuban next time. I'm a big fan of a good Cuban. So, Alrighty. all right. And Mother's Day is coming up here shortly. Uh, I'm sure you've got something planned for that. So we're gonna try something new. Uh, for right. this event. Um, as much as I love to do curbside, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of communication has to happen between the guest and ourselves for preparing and, and sending stuff out. We're gonna try to do a buffet because we do have glass between us. Oh, sure. Um, and we've got everybody vaccinated at our establishment. Congratulations. 100% vaccination. <clears throat> um, and we've got glass between us, so we've got a buffet line of hot and food and cold food already there so we thought why not turn it into a nice brunch yeah so it's kind of uh you're gonna pick out what you want you can either sit there because we do have inside and outside seating or you can take it to go so okay we're gonna do a little bit different than uh our last one where it was more curbside all of our other events have been curbside curbside okay we still will do curbside sure but you're also allowing people to come in come and, in and help themselves kind of to the buffet and pick out what they want off that buffet line we'll serve it to them for them and then we'll give a new plate every time all right well i'm going to uh make a, a fool of myself here try or a mess maybe of myself trying to to eat some of this but this is just I want to make sure that i get a oh yeah that's a that's a good chip right there mm -hmm. That's the mm. Tequila Reaper. Mmm. Okay. Did you say Reaper? Yep. Reaper <laughs> cheese. All right. I didn't want to say nothing until you ate it first. <laughs> I love it. I love it hot. It's good. Mm. So it's got a nice spice to it. Fresh made jalapenos. Mm. We pickle our own. It's delicious. All Absolutely right. delicious. All right. Um, you have gluten-free cookies, but you also I have also vegan have a gluten-free cookie. The gluten-free happens to be a coconut cherry. 
coconut cherry gluten-free cookie and the rest of your cookies are all vegan all vegan that's fantastic anything else you want to add before we head to break um come see me say uh i love chef oscar and i'll give you a free harito i thought you were about to say free hug no hugs <laughs> I love Not Chef yet. Oscar Free Harito Free over at Migrants, which is at on Migrants. the West Beltline off of the Todd Drive exit and we're Wisconsin Restaurants and we'll be back after the break.